scenes from this morning's 39th annual Fort Meade Retiree Appreciation Day. Hundreds of retirees from all branches of service are expected to stop by Fort Meade today. More in just a moment. Also on this edition, a Fort Meade soldier is one of the Army's best. We conclude our coverage of Suicide Prevention Month, and TRICARE asks, are you prepared? Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. As I mentioned a moment ago, Fort Meade is hosting its 39th Annual Retiree Appreciation Day today. Retirees from all services are on post to learn more about services and support offered here at Fort Meade. Retiree Appreciation Day also kicks off Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center's seasonal flu vaccination program. Retirees are being offered shots today. The remaining schedule has active duty service members getting their flu shots October 14th through the 17th. DOD civilians and TRICARE eligible beneficiaries not covered under the Johns Hopkins Family Care Plan can get their shots October 14th through the 17th and the 20th through the 24th. Meanwhile, if you have any questions about Retiree Appreciation Day or Retiree Services on post, contact Fort Meade's Installation Retirement Services Office at 301-677-9434. In other news, 28 of the Army's finest warriors, 14 junior soldiers and 14 NCOs representing 13 commands will converge on Fort Lee, Virginia, October 6th through the 9th for the 2014 Army Best Warrior Competition. One of the select 14 is Specialist Chase Teets from Fort Meade's 53rd Signal Battalion. Teets, a satellite systems operator along with the other finalists, have spent almost a year mastering a series of tasks that will be tested during the competition. We're trying to get an interview with Specialist Teets, hopefully before the competition starts. Winners will be announced October 9th and will be broadcast live on the Divids Hub at www.dividshub.net. On behalf of everyone at MeTV and Fort Meade Public Affairs, we wish Specialist Teets the best of luck. In other news, we conclude our focus on Suicide Prevention Month and our conversation with Marissa Pena, the Fort Meade Suicide Prevention Program Manager. Today, Ms. Pena discusses the Applied Suicide Intervention Skills Training Program, or ASSIST. It's a full two-day workshop that runs throughout the year. But it actually, it takes a, an additional step to ACSI and it actually teaches individuals during the two-week uh, workshop um, to how to be the caregiver. You are actually now the interventionist. So um, that person, you might even be that person that gets escorted to. So you stay with that, it teaches you how to be an interventionist. September is also National Disaster Preparedness Month. One element of preparedness is knowing where your health care is coming from. Here's more from TRICARE TV. If you and your family ever find yourself in the path of a natural disaster, TRICARE wants you to know your health care needs will still be met. When a state of emergency is issued, the Department of Defense can approve a waiver of primary care manager referrals. Waiving this requirement allows affected beneficiaries to get care from TRICARE authorized providers without a PCM referral, avoiding point of service charges. TRICARE beneficiaries can also use the Emergency Refill Too Soon waiver to get an emergency prescription refill. This ensures beneficiaries don't run out of needed medications and lets them seek medical care from any TRICARE authorized provider without a referral or authorization until services are restored. Beneficiaries at risk of being affected by a natural disaster should check TRICARE's disaster page at tricare.mil slash disaster info. Finally, beneficiaries can sign up for state-specific disaster alerts at tricare.mil slash subscriptions. Subscribers receive the most up-to-date disaster alert information and updates directly via email. Prepare for natural disasters by having your own emergency plan already in place. In the event of evacuation, please take the necessary precautions. In case of emergency, dial 911 or go directly to the nearest emergency room. Get helpful information and tips on how to best prepare for a disaster by visiting the Department of Homeland Security's webpage, ready.gov. And one final note today, the Fort Meade Commissary is accepting applications for 20 bagger positions for the weekday morning and afternoon shifts. The applications will be processed on a first-come, first-served basis Monday, October 6th from 9 to 10.30 at Club Meade. Bagger positions are open to active duty service members, dependents, and retirees. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.